Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So over here, I got Kali Linux running. And what you got to do is open up terminal. And once you're in terminal, you can actually zoom in a little so it's easier for you to see. So what you do is the first thing you do is enter sudo apt-get install scrcpy. So this would install the package for you to actually manage your Android device directly from your Kali Linux machine. So hit enter on that. And of course, you got to key in your user password. And once you key in your password, this would actually prompt you to download. And once the package has been installed, you'll be able to get SCRCPY running immediately. So what you do now is you will actually connect your mobile device into the Kali Linux virtual machine. So right now I'm connecting the Android device into my main host computer. And once I click and connect it using the USB, I would have a folder being prompted up, so it is running on a Galaxy S10e, so you can see it directly from the host machine. So what you do is you go into the Devices tab, go into USB, click onto Samsung Android or whichever Android device you're running, click onto it, this would connect the device into your Call Linux box, as you can see. So, of course, when I look into the file folder, I can see over here we got a Samsung Android being connected. And once you connect it, all you got to do is enter SCRCPY and you'll be able to find out all the information regarding the Android device and able to view it directly. So, of course, you can look at ADB and you can look at devices. So, this will list all the attached devices using the Android debugger breach. So, this would actually tell you what devices are currently connected into your Kali Linux box. So, now that we have the confirmation that it's been connected properly, the Android debugger is working fine. All you got to do is hit SCRCPY and this would actually boot up the entire Android screen. And once we're in it, we can actually manage all the information from here. So here you can see the Android device being mirrored directly into your call Linux. So you can actually manage your Android device from any of your Linux distributions. So there is in it how quickly we could actually connect your Android device into your call Linux box or into any Linux distribution and you'll be able to mirror the display from your Android device and you'll be able to control your Android device, send SMS, look at applications, look at settings of the Android device and be able to do a lot more configurations. So I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial and remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.